Cancer, welcome back, guys. So let's go ahead and see what is coming towards you guys. What are your overall messages? What can you expect? Universe, Archangels, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians, what are the messages for my Cancers? What can my Cancer expect? What's coming towards them? Universe, Archangels, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians. So Cancer, there's an energy here of finally things are moving into a calmer energy. Okay? Whatever you were struggling with in the recent past, all of that is changing. It's like you're going from... All of these things up in the air, having all this confusion to this calm energy where finally you're like, okay, I've regained my strength. I'm moving forward. I'm getting past the, the turmoil. I'm getting past the obstacles and I'm doing big things in my life. Again, with the strength here, I feel that for some of you guys, this was a transformation that you needed to go through. It was a hard transformation. It did take up a lot of your energy, but I feel that you have finalized whatever it is that you were doing, and it is time for you to move on and move forward here. Universe, Archangel, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians, what's going on with my Cancer here? Empress energy. So Cancer, you may have went from this energy of being depleted, having a lot of issues, whether they were financially, emotionally, or physically. You did a lot of work. There was a total transformation that happened with you here. And then now you're in this Empress energy where you have full control of everything around you. Okay. Finally, everything in your life is going good. You are in a way better place. You, Some of you guys relocated or are planning to relocate or maybe even take a vacation here. Everything is fine. Everything is good. Let me see here. But here it goes. The Eight of Swords. I was just waiting for it. There's something that's about to get ready to make a presence in your life. Okay. Um, this can very well be somebody from your past. Something that wasn't resolved. Maybe a lesson that wasn't learned. It's getting ready to come back around. But let me be honest with you. It's going to be a very short-lived lesson here. Because you do have the Ten of Pentacles here. Maybe someone from the past is trying to come back towards you. Because now they need your help. Or they want you to do certain things for them. With the Seven of Cups here. Be very careful with whoever it is that you're dealing with. Because I feel that this person is coming in with a lot of confusion. See, you've ascended. You're in a good place. Everything is good for you. And whoever it is that you walked away from in the past... I feel that this person may be starting to have some financial issues or just going through issues overall. They're going to be reaching out to you, but with the Seven of Cups here, there is a lot of confusion. Somebody who's very imbalanced, they still don't know what they want. And if you do entertain this situation, I got to be honest with you, it is going to cause you these sleepless nights. So be careful, whoever it is that you that you decided to close a chapter with. I feel that this person is spying on you. They're keeping an eye, uh, an eye on you from afar. They see that you've been successful. They see that you've transformed. They see you in a better place. Some of you guys just recently bought a home. Like you're you're living you're living your best life here. Ten of Pentacles and Ten of Cups. Happily ever after. Peace, harmony, balance, stability. But look at Six of Cups. Here comes this past person. You're being told to be careful with this individual because you are dealing with somebody who could be very emotionally um unavailable. Somebody who's very emotionally conflicted. I feel that they're coming in first and foremost because they need your help. They miss you. They feel like coming back to you, you will ultimately end up giving them what they require and they'll be in a better place. They may walk in here acting like an emperor, but I've got to be honest with you. Emperor in the reverse, they're coming in here with ill will intention. So be careful with whoever it is that's coming in from your past. Because, again, you're in this wish fulfillment. You are happy. Everything is beautiful for you. For you, Life is good. It's like you have overcome all this darkness, all these blockages. It's like you are in such a positive energy. But people that are still keeping an eye on you will try to make their way back into your life and ultimately try to get something out of you. It's like, how, how, how can I put it? Um... This person wants, misery loves company. So this is a miserable individual who wants to drag you in with them because they need the company. You need not to entertain this person. Universe, Archangel, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians, what is this person's intentions with my, ca uh, my cancer, please? Hermit in the reverse. So this person may be lonely, okay? They're no longer dealing with the third party or whatever was going on. Now they're in this energy where if I come back towards cancer, maybe cancer will give me a chance and I'll try to show cancer that I can do better and I can give cancer the attention that cancer requires. But no, no, no. Cancer is in the star energy already. You've been healed. You've gotten away from that situation. As a matter of fact, you left sadness behind. You knew that this person was deceptive before. And I feel that overall, at the end of the day, 
You still know that this person is deceptive. They are keeping secrets, okay? This person is coming in with a negative energy. I feel that they're just trying to drag you back down with them. So you do have to be careful with whoever you walked away from in the past because this person sees you living your best lives, sees you in such a beautiful, abundant energy that they just want to drag you with them. Final messages here for my Cancer, please, universe. Yeah, three of pentacles in the reverse. Guys, you are being told not to work on this connection. Do not give this person the opportunity. There is no growth. If you allow this person back into your life, he or she may ultimately cause blockages. You don't have any blockages right now, but they can cause the blockages. When this person reaches out to you, you need to be very stern and you need to tell them, I am not interested in pursuing a connection with you. I'm already over that situation. This is a done deal. I'm in a better place. I am happy with who I am with and I need you to leave me alone. So you need to make a final decision regarding a person that's trying to come back in and cause you all this unhappiness, all this turmoil, all this imbalance. Okay. All right, guys, I hope and pray that this gave you some clarity. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Click that notification bell. If you want to book a personal reading, the info is in the description box below. And don't forget to check out my community tab. I always have specials going on in the weekend. I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye.